Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Firewalk. <laughs> oh, is that how we're starting? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we have to locate the controlled burn south of Ruby River. It is such a long walk. It is a trek and because a half. where are we? I don't know. There. Care. Well, okay, let's, let's get walking. <laughs> which direction do I need to go? South? I need to go south. Okay. Okay. Let's well, do this. we're headed the exact opposite direction. <laughs> <sighs> How do I run? How do I run again? Shift? Uh oh. No. Shift is the walking R. Control. R run. This is really weird. R run. Uh oh, it's saved. saved. That means our rope's gonna break and we're gonna slip a disc. <laughs> The new fear every time I have to climb a height, up or down. Yeah, right. Just like I'm gonna trip and fall and hurt myself. Yep. Gosh, it's so sensitive. It is very sensitive, just like me. All right, where are we? Come on, that was funny. That was funny. I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your patronization. <laughs> can't do this. <laughs> Seven. Much better. We are looking for a controlled burn south of the river. Yeah, now I'm river. going the way I want to. Okay. Yay! Run. Dang. <laughs> Run. And I'm going the wrong way. That's why I keep checking the map. Nope, don't do that. I do feel like we're in the midst of either Pride Rock or the Grand Canyon. I was going to say, that I feel very Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Running across a log, because that's safe. Parkour! I loved watching this back, because, like, I don't really watch the animations of the movements no. while I'm playing. Yeah. Or while we're playing. But watching it back looks so janky. Not janky. It does. It's just, like, it's different than it's, I remember it's seeing. It's because it's a pre-rendered, like, animation, so yeah. once you click it, you're in a certain yeah. spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you guys like my NPC noises? I like them. Thank you. Look, it's our tower! Oh, that's our house? Two that's boards. ours! That's my lovely little home. <sighs> All the grass in the water is like acting like okay. it's kinda underwater. Things seem normal with everyone else. Why are we not normal? I don't um, remember. The clipboard with our conversations on. Yes, it. okay, cool. Should we call the cops, honestly? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? What, we got What's eavesdropped on? Don't you think that would sound, you know, That we got crazy. knocked out. Oh my gosh, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I, I mean, tell them we're yeah. We're being bothered <laughs> or something. We're being Henry, bullied. I really like this job. By the okay? forest. And if I give up, <laughs> The forest is bullying me. Find a new forest. All right. I'm headed There's the plenty of anyway. forest on the Earth's okay. fans. Keep your radio close to you. About my radio. Well, you just said keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. <gasps> I knew, like the one I use. Mm. And? Do you think that maybe someone was? You know, uh, listening to you? I don't know. What? Listening to you. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. They wrote down your conversation. Uh, they wrote That's what you not... said. Don't be cons like yeah, well, don't be dumb. Worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. I love thinking about this Whatever as Delilah is just sat in her tower all day long while you are out here trekking the yeah. forest. This is where we saw the guy at night that first day. Right. And we're like, well, it is the woods. There's people. Yeah. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. Well, don't tell me that when I'm out here alone. <laughs> it's not like you can just call the police. You can't? I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... Just, like, call that on emergency line. You saw that smoke, right? I sure did. I thought it was dust or something. No, it's there. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, Quick. Maybe he'd enjoy it. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. Totally. That's true. That's one way of looking at it. 
He's fine, T. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Please give me context. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know what we're talking so, about. So remember when we found that backpack that said Brian Goodwin? Yeah. And she said that was a kid who was out here with his dad, Ned. Ah. Uh. And it's like, you're, you can bring kids out here? It's like, no, but I'm not a stickler for the rules, so you know. Right. And she became kind of friends with the kid, but the dad was like this guy with PTSD who mm -hmm. kind of wasn't great at being a dad. Mm -hmm. And who brought his kid out into like this. Mm -hmm. So. And then one day they disappeared. Okay, that was it. They disappeared. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember what happened to them. Like, why were we upset? Did yeah. he die? Did something happen to the kid? No, they just vanished. Okay. Oh, so much climbing. It's a lot of climbing. I, did, I shouldn't have taken this route. <laughs> higher, better, fat. Wait, higher. Uh, Harder, better, faster, stronger. No, I'm talking about Top Gun. Higher, better, faster, stronger. I don't remember. I don't know at all. Oh, I'm going to look like such an idiot. Oh, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. Whoa. Do, 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 do. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Now where are we headed from here? It's not where I want. Okay, I think we're going this way towards the fire. I could just be dumb. I have no clue what you're talking about. I could just be dumb. <laughs> She repeated in the same exact tone <laughs> of defeat. Because I have a thing in my brain that is not the song. It's like higher, better, faster, stronger, baby. But I'm not even sure it's four adjectives. I don't know anymore. I'm just lost in this <laughs> void of not knowing. <laughs> but with a thought. <laughs> with nothing to attach it to. Oh, no. I thought swirls in my brain. Listen to the music and relax. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna zone out. It's windy, it makes me need to pee. You hear that wind? Mm -hmm. That's pee wind. <laughs> wind, if you will. <laughs> Peed. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so that this is, is the burn. Remember when we couldn't get through? Yeah. Extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. That is a jet ski? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? You gotta get in, in, in control. Gets fired. <laughs> that's that's the answer. Uh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. Oh. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up this <gasps> Oh, fired! <laughs> All right. That's funny. Uh, there's an old what do you mean pond? pond? There is no pond. Pile, this is uh, ground. Do you have it on your map? Pond. Uh, no, swamp. Yeah, Get out of my swamp. Pork pond. There pork pond. It, but, um, well, folks kept it. Not much to steal anymore. Uh, because it's called pork pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign was great in the tent. <laughs> no, it would not. So is Can you imagine having a man pond? cave called Pork Pond? Yeah, pork Pond. Welcome to Pork east. Pond. I can't imagine a man listen. cave, to be honest. I can't There's imagine having one. I am woman, never been in one. I w what even is it? I assume there is meat and beer. <laughs> and maybe, if you're fancy, a billiards table. Perhaps some sports on the television. <laughs> A never-ending baseball, <laughs> football, basketball <laughs> loop. Yeah. Just it's one just right after sports. the other. E You mean ESPN? <laughs> it's, just the, it's just the ESPN. Every once in a while, ESPN will show the cheerleading competition, and then we go right back to football. Ooh. I have ESPN. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoa! Way to flowers! Campground! Ooh, 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 ooh. Something happened here. Camp Arapaho. Uh, you do what now? The 
bridge to the camp is out. Damn. Jump. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Okay, I'll do things the hard way. We need to find the high ground. Hello there. Hello there. What do we just jump off Pride Rock? Is that the best idea? Pretty much. Dude, I'm so proud of that joke I made in our group chat the other day that nobody or earlier today that nobody laughed at. Of like Godzilla, I gotta catch up on the lore. And they're like, I love Godzilla. My li my lizard's Godzilla. And I was like, oh, show me. So this movie, it's his story, and then he missed the joke. Did you see that part? No. Oh my gosh, you gotta look at it. Haven't caught later. up on it yet. Very few people caught that joke and I was so upset. <laughs> I'm confused. About where you are? Yes. I think you need to find higher ground. Yes, I figured that out. I can't get to the... Jeez. Why are we here when it is there? Because that's the June fire. We're looking for humans. That's the June fire? Yes. Do I have my long fall boots? Okay. Hope so. <gasps> I love a totem pole. Totem pole. I seriously do love a totem pole. There, um, in Alaska, there's this mountain. When you go up, in there's Alaska? a bunch of. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> in a bu there's a bunch of uh, totem poles at the top. That is so cool. Obviously, there's probably multiple places like that. I that just... was a theater. See what I can find. Okay. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, weird, I, but okay. I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. <laughs> wasn't he, he wasn't scout a scout material? or weevil or whatever. Weevil. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's mm. a clove hitch? A knot? Uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. <gasps> you use it to make rafts and shelters and Shots stuff like that. Shots fired by Delilah. You know <laughs> Heck no. I'd make a weebelow do it. <laughs> Can you imagine being a uh, weebelow? I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weebelows. Probably oh, where are you? Cave. Oh, weebelow. <laughs> As above? There are bear traps. As above, weebelow. <laughs> Bear trap. That's messed up. All right. I know that there is something around here that I can pick up. Do I you just know what know it, it, is? it. I know what it is. <gasps> what are you keeping from me? Are we gonna get a tent spike? Yep. So we can use it as defense. Exactly. I knew it. I've been I waiting for the tent wonder. spike. Curiouser and curiouser. The music cut off, which means that we took too long to find something. Pretty much. <laughs> when the game gets quiet and ambient only, oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Look, it's their stumps, their stool. I found their leftover stool. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. Nice. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. Perfect. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. How nice they found it's a paperweight. From their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. <laughs> Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. <laughs> I always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Hmm. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? That is weird that there's all these different sections of things going on. Horned toads. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. Definitely. And... Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? Probably. I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, mm. but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Hmm. Mine too. Okay. So what's 
next? I do love Squad Boss Carson. Next, so I can figure Let out a way me to read it. The back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, you know it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Squad Boss Grant Carson. We are in 89, it seems. Uh -huh. Uh, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Rich Slusarenko, Assistant Superintendent. All right. Nope. Other stuff. So we're out here creating a fire line? I don't understand why I this is bad. They're call. making a fire Maybe line, yeah. With me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Oh, look, it's got and a poop stain I'm on it. holding it. Ew. Maybe drop it? Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Delilah. Yucky. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yucky poo poo. <laughs> okay. I still don't get what's so bad about Ooh, these guys. Fall. These guys are firefighters. They are just trying to help us. Yeah, what's the memo about? Or, no, they're not trying to help us. They're just trying to burn a line. I don't know yeah. what the issue is. I'm uh, sorry. The, the... I'm not tracking the, the, tra the, the scary part of this game. Or like the, the what they're all freaked out about. I get they're it. They're freaked don't out by the things. fact that they found a clipboard that had their exact conversations on it. Right. And then he got knocked out. Right. What does that have to do with anything we just found? Because the clipboard was from Wapiti Station. Okay. So he's and then they and went Wapiti's there. Wapiti's where we got knocked out. No, we got knocked out before that when we were going to pick up a radio. Okay. The clipboard said Wapiti Station, so we went up to Wapiti Meadow, which is on the map, and it turned out that there was a fenced-in area that Delilah didn't know anything about. Right. She didn't know it was there, and we didn't either, but we she's been in, here for a while. And we went like... Ding, 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 yeah, we tried to get in. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no one there. Everything just seems weirdly abandoned. Mm -hmm. And But yet there's someone actively out there with Henry, which is us, mm -hmm. taking notes on us, following us hurting us so it's not the firefighters it is this group of she people told us who to go here for in. help okay and to, she thought that they might know something about wapiti station existing got it mm-hmm thread connected <gasps> chop that tree I believe we're gonna yeah chop this down is this not just the legend of zelda a little bit Look at those branches i shake. love the shakies that made me excited uh, hop to the left. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Okay, that just threw like, me through actively mentally. hurt my brain. <laughs> Ow. What he did was he jumped, he did a pirouette, a triple backflip, and then landed on his feet yeah. to continue walking across the tree. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I've got to go back to Wapiti. Wapiti Meto. Exactly, that's how I would say it. I always had a problem with that. Oh, did you, Delilah? Do tell. In the tall grass. Yeah. Okay, so let's Is there a smut rock? We're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? In the grass. Just Pork pond. On my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. <gasps> Just Interference. No. Okay. Um, someone else is on the line. Another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Yikes. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Weird. So we can't leave our tower now? We're locked in our room like Rapunzel? A little bit. Am I going to lose Girl my Bear job? Power. This is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for Pete's sake, answer your radio. She's busy. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Well, she answered. 
What should we do? Why is she so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Delilah, what's Maybe up? I am mm -hmm. actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone <laughs> info poster was still up inside your tower? Yeah. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Huh. What beautiful poster. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? The spruce, Great. pine. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? The loggerhead pine? Let me look at says? it and I'll tell you. No. you Top row, to second to the left. The cottonwood? Oh, okay. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. What's her deal? I don't like this. Um, which tree She's am trying I not to say to? it. I know. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Top row, second from the left. Okay. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Sounds Because I know they're good. being listened to. Yeah. Exactamundo. Jeez Louise, I still don't love that conversation. Made me feel weird. <laughs> There's a- she is so not acting natural is the thing. I know. But it's so obvious that she's being dumb. <laughs> she's like, hee hee, jeepers creepers are being listened to. I'm going to become so happy and you know what we should do? Go see the tree! We should go to the place named after that tree and have a wonderful afternoon. I've never spoken like this a day in my life and they should know that if they've been listening. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is it doesn't matter what she sounds like if they don't know what she's looking at. No, like, I know, but it's just clearly it's, it's, clear it's that clearly she's that up she's to talking in code. Yeah. yeah. I know, I get good. the poster thing. Now they're just going to break into our tower and look at our poster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. And we can blame Delilah for that. Thanks, Delilah. I th I I know I'm probably supposed to like her. I might get there. <laughs> Currently, I'm a little She's always been up in the air for me. Yeah. Yeah. I get that she's a friend. You'll I feel, see why. I feel like she's a bit. Eh. Okay, like, she's just not my cup of tea. You feel like she's a bit eh. Yeah. Yep. She's interesting. I don't love that she is potentially going to be a problem for us, the protagonist. Mm hmm. It's gonna be. It's an interesting story. Music isn't as chill as it used to be. Mm -mm. So you're heading to Cottonwood Creek. I'm going yes. that way. Yeah. Run, 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 that is a leafless tree. My goodness. It's the Whomping Willow. Look at the flowers. I do love the flowers. Oh! A ski? Big tree. Big tree. He's a big tree. Yup, yup. <laughs> big tree. We're here. Delilah! There was a radio option when we were in front of it, wasn't there? No. I thought there was. Weird. She said something about a wonderful afternoon. Yeah. What's so wonderful? I said to radio once we got here. Okay. Aha! Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, must be around here somewhere. Um, I specifically don't. Find it and open it. 
I changed the code. <gasps> it's five six seven eight. All right, time to find a cash box. There, there it is. is. <laughs> I found it. I found it. We did it. We did it. And uh, five, six, six. seven, eight. eight. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Protect the forest. Information. Ooh. On trails and trucking throughout this area. Ooh. Three blind rats. Three with a missing cover. Three blind rats. But that's copyrighted, so we said rats. Mm. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. Oh, Radio, radio Who. I've got it now. A walkie. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. That'd be nice. Holy Henry, we have to get into that site. The fenced off site? You are in on this! <laughs> oh. I don't like that option. I don't know, Henry. Call circle. Us all summer. How is this actually happening? I think this is, tech I think this is the medicine wheel. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't even know how I got there. It looks like a cult circle. I'm scared. Yeah. It does look like a cult circle. And none of it makes any sense. Yeah, what about the other lookouts? What do we know about them? This is happening to yeah, that's true. Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> I don't know. I don't talk to them. To us. Everyone else is fine. I don't know. I don't talk sure? to them. Yes. Hmm. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Dang, harsh oh job gosh. environment. You're not crazy when something goes wrong. Oh. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. So maybe let the man do the talking. <laughs> Nobody questions I the man. Oh. laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Oh. Who's doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. That is sad. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Where are you trying to go? Sometimes here, sometimes you go up to Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. Ah, I'm the problem. It's me. This whole time, Julia's here trying to find us, and we'll burn down the forest to find us. This up? I mean, the New the goal is this... of lore. Are you, are you? Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Are we accusing her right now? No, we're accusing ourselves of losing our mind. mind. What? Julia, maybe it's happening to me, oh, and, and I'm baby. imagining that I have a boss out here, and that we're being spied on. Oh. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you're stuck in you a fork. Okay. Be able to it. Hey, that's true. Mm -hmm. Henry, mm -hmm. sweetie, I am right. Real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. I don't know. I've never seen you. And then call me back. Hey. Aww. Poor guy. He's all worried. Okay, I'm all right. I'm uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. <clears throat> she sounded depressed. I mean, I would be. Yeah, you got to keep your head up. Oh. oh. Hey. You can let your hair down. Uh, yeah. I just thought of something not um not great. Okay. What? What's well, not great? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh. That is not what we told you to do. Why would you do that? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. Delilah. Now Someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I filed a report that's a blatant lie. Yep, you lost your job, uh, ma'am. Those girls are still missing. Yeah. The important thing is that the girls get found. Delilah. Indeed. But you we screwed really yourself over. 
I am in the June fire. It seemed like it for a second. With I the have smoke. entered. The fire has entered the chat. June <laughs> is here. Who is intercepting our signal? It was June. She's a bit hot headed today. You've heard of a June bug. Now get ready for its next evolution: the June fire bug. Aha! Aha! Where am I? I am in the June fire. <laughs> oh my God! I'm going the wrong way. I hate this! Where- show me the map. Where is Wapiti? Where are you trying to go? There! Okay, so when and you- I'm went, down here! When you went down the rope on the dotted part of the line, yes. you didn't realize that was going down? No, well that's the thing, I was going down the rope because I thought I had to do that to get to the next level to go up that- Oh, gotcha. Ugh, it's a really hard to read map for me for some reason. I don't know why. I'm actually- I'm very good at reading maps. This is- this one just throws me for some reason. Remember when we walked extra miles trying to follow the Liberty Trail? Oh my god, yeah. That was such a frustrating day. That was the worst. We stopped at a really cute cafe to calm and collect ourselves. Because we were like, where are we? We had completely walked to a, the completely wrong section of where we wanted to be. And we had walked. Mm -hmm. So now we had to walk back. And it was crazy. And we were on vacation. Trying to like, and it's we were trying to, to be fun, <laughs> and, we're, and also we had plans that evening. Yeah, and, we were trying to make it back in time. And everyone else in the world, you and my other friends that we were meeting, were all just very relaxed about timing and everything. You but were me, not. I can't be because once a plan is in motion, my brain's like, no, it has to be at that time. That's the time <laughs> we said. If I'm late, I'm wrong. You drove us out of Boston. You were so stressed. I was so stressed out. Because I don't know that I don't know what that is with me. I have always been like that, though. Like, if there's a plan and someone tells me a time, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, I'll be on time at that time. And whether or not I'm on time, I know I'm aiming for that time. Right. Yeah, I get that. But You can't be like, oh, well, I get there when I get there. It's like, no, I am planning to be no, there. No, and I told someone I'd be there. If I'm not there, I text them. I say, I'm so sorry. I'm mm -hmm. going to be a few minutes late. And then we were the first people there. And then we were. <laughs> <laughs> so we did make it on time. But the thing is, I don't even care if someone else is late. I was on time. Yeah, I get that. It's just, it's a mental thing with me. Once a plan is set, I don't like it when plans change. Mm -hmm. I don't... <sighs> I don't know, man. And it, But it's like, it's one of those, like, I can't... It, it gets in my brain yeah. and, like, rattles me around. <laughs> I hate it. so much. Well, I, ha I like, that. viscerally hate that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Of, like, I made a plan. I, I, why, no. <laughs> okay. I think the way you feel about that is the way that I feel when I'm in charge of something and I don't know how to fix it. Yes. It's that, oh, feeling. Yeah. Of, like, I have to figure this out and I don't know. Mm-hmm. Which scares me from trying new things. It's mad. <laughs> it makes me mad because I'm, like, I'm in control and I'm, I can't be because, like, I don't know enough. <laughs> There's something else that's hindering me. Yeah. But this is a thing that I made myself in control of. Like I hindered her walking I, around Boston trying to see landmarks. Well, no. The corner bookstore that is now at Chipotle. It's, it's a huge oh. disappointment in my life. Have we ever talked about that? I think no. we talked about that once. Oh. There, so if anyone knows the Liberty Trail in Bo the Freedom Trail, what am I talking about? It's the Liberty Trail. Liberty Trail. I'm an idiot. Um, the. What's it called? There is, there's like a million stops on it. And, they're and all one of them, to Boston. one of them was the old corner bookstore, yes. right? Yes. And it was like, it was just nearby. It was a historical spot. A lot of people met there um, during like the revolution. The revolution and it, stuff. It was like kind of like a hiding spot of a meet out because it was really close to the old South Church. Yeah. So it was really close to where they were planning stuff a as lot, like, like the, the Sons Boston of Liberty. Tea Party and things. Yeah. So it was a really cool spot. And we were walking up and down this trail and we found like an app that basically you, it, it tracks you as you walk right past it yeah so we walk right past it and we're like it should be right here and i know i've been there i i had been there when i was younger though so i had a vague idea of a memory in my head of what it looked like and then we looked up and we're like i think it's the chipotle and then we walked around to a different angle of it sorry and it is definitely a chipotle now i'll send you the picture we can insert it here and then we googled it it is a chipotle it's just a chipotle i'm I, upset I, i'm going to insert that picture mainly because that picture is of you going like next to a chipotle i took it to send to my parents because that's who i went with to, uh, on the liberty trail with the first time i went and mm -hmm. i was like this is just offensive like it's gone yeah and it's not just like oh they tore it down it, they it's the they, same building it is the building as a chipotle they just took the bookstore out and inserted a chipotle which is wrong it's just it's I wild i like chipotle and i don't like that exactly it's like man i like you oh <sighs> I would never eat at that Chipotle. If I lived in Boston, I would make a point to, to go out eat. of my way I yes. to go to a different Chipotle. I could live across the street from that Chipotle, and I would always go never to a go different there. one. 
because that is a bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's so upsetting to think that somebody is making guac in the old corner bookstore hurts my brain. Subpar going brown guacamole that cost extra oh, in the man. old corner bookstore. Oh, sorry. I had to get that out. It's been a few months. <laughs> That's okay. I went the wrong way for a long time. I know. And now we're on their way back. <laughs> we just, we, we had to talk through it. Yeah. <laughs> I mouthed, I looked at the camera for a second and just mouthed, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, but we're on the right. We're on. The we right are path. on the right path now. Yay! We have a Pulaski, and we're gonna <laughs> knock Shop into this. Shop our way through. Yay! Station. Um. Sir. Sir. It sounds like somebody's dragging their axe across the fence. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Let's go, baby. Copy that. It's not we're music. So cool. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Repeat. Like a Peter Puck. Ooh, a bee. Like this song. Wapiti Station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. Okay. University owned equipment is a responsibility of Dr. Johnson. I'm assuming they meant Johnson, but I, I could be wrong. I think so, but it's Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Wow, that's an intense greeting. Stung by a bee. Okay. Is, Not pressing. Is that it? I found a yeah. clipboard. Did it? Did it hurt? <laughs> yes, kind of. Oh my god. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry. I would take. I would say crap like that. Sorry. <laughs> He's just like, I'm breaking in. I'm going now. I got stung by a bee. <laughs> yeah, you would. Ooh, 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 ooh. It got darker. It did. Are we about to see people? For the first time ever. I've never seen a person before. I have been out here for 77 days. <laughs> there were two girls on a lake once, but apparently I never saw them. But I couldn't see their faces. A generator. Okay. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. E, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Why they are comms out here. What do you mean? I'm talking a big. 20 foot tall transmission I guess it is not even the 90s. Whoever the yeah. hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Ooh. Wild. Trample their wires, boy. And there is all sorts of contraptions. No one is here, here is what's getting me. Uh -huh. Like what? Where are Pushes they? Some stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. Stuff I don't know. on metal legs? Really you mean a tripod? tripod? <laughs> This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. You don't know. You could get that at Aces. <laughs> Ooh. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Is it a Pelican case? I should have shown her this first. Or said it to her. What the heck is this? It's called a wave receiver. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. No, I'm gonna go find out. Miss. Yeah, Junk. I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Ooh. Through it. Black box. The black box. The black box. <sighs> Subjects, Henry M. Delilah A. Ooh. Ten week. Ten week. Are they reporting on us? Me. What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. Ooh. There's stuff in here about Julia. <gasps> like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. Delilah, like chill. Follow me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. You're in denial, yeah. Delilah. Okay. <laughs> they are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario, 
Maybe that's what they want, yeah. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? If they've been telling you everywhere, they maybe knew you're here. they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. The, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, mm -hmm. now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. No, sweetie. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. As I stomp around my tower that I've it's never right. left. <laughs> yeah, honestly. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. No, she did leave to get us this new thing. That's true. Okay. Like I said, though, during these conversations, I just imagine she's, she's up just in, in her, her tower, tower, just doing all nothing. Never leaving. People's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths. And my gosh. Mm -hmm. There are lines that look like some of the paths. I wish it actually space. trailed where we went, so it was all the wrong directions. <laughs> I went like, it's like tripled and quadrupled linear. over. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun part of like the game being like, man, you're not very good at this. <laughs> yeah. Delilah A, 43. So she, 10 week was circled for her. Observational traits. Reliable, considering alcoholism. <laughs> Observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Funny. Pertinent, observed facts. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate <gasps> surroundings. Multiple lovers despite longtime partner <gasps> Javier. <gasps> Three, susceptibility to manipulation is level three. Wow. Supervisor sign off, e.g. Egg. 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 What do, I don't know what to do. Okay. Do we um, get to keep ours? We're going to keep it and then grab ours. We're going to be so susceptible. We are 39. Uh, 10 weeks is circled. And then observational traits. Comprehensive explorers keeps to the path. <laughs> Comprehensive. <laughs> Prone to anger. Passive. Guilty. Forthright and guarded. Okay. Th those are, these are, wait. Weird. I was going to say, it's yeah, kind of like oxymorons. Observational traits. Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, reliable. Subject overview. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. <laughs> All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. <gasps> Level 9 susceptibility to manipulation. Told you, we absolutely are susceptible to manipulation. Okay, yep. so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. Oh, those girls. You and me. Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you Disproportionate food intake. What about the other two? I was gonna say the missing teens. Maybe the missing girls? Or the good ones. <gasps> Possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I don't know. I, I don't know. I really think you should just get Well, out there's there one girl. Male, female, male, male. Yeah. Disproportionate food intake. Avoidance behaviors, frequent departure from two forks, unreciprocated That's us. diet for copulation, <laughs> conflict with other males. Huh. That sounds like animals. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> They're treating us and the other two, whoever they are, like experiments. Yeah. Like yeah, subjects in an experiment. All the monitoring is recorded. Yeah. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy fuck, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate stuff, do you? Since How would they do that? Stage, I'd believe just about anything. I just like, wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. That's the weird they're thing. They're not here, which is why I think they know out. we are here. Uh huh. I think they cleared out. Why don't we take it? They say Biff. <laughs> we have, I love Biff peanut butter. Biff peanut butter. <laughs> Muckers. Muckers. Low sugar. Wow. Pasta. Originalo. <laughs> Tomato basil. Tomato basil. <laughs> Tomato basil. Sturdy leather belt. It belongs to a man. Apparently so. Looks heavy. All right. I absolutely think that they're all just outside the tent and they circle when we circle and then circle when we circle. So there's a whole horde of researchers who are like, shh, on the other side of that tent right now. Yeah. All right, we're getting the heck out of here. Can we turn the generator on? It is on. Oh, oh, I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, because we know those generators. 
They make Imagine. noises like, Imagine if, <laughs> Imagine if you were out here and you found all of this stuff. No, I would leave. I would quit. I would leave. Yeah, but you have to get back to the place where you can leave from. You just went into, like, enemy territory, essentially. 100%. I would get back to my tower. I would call who I met. <gasps> no! No! Oh, that's evidence. We've been here. No turning back. You're right. Look at that. Uh oh. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. Just now. This is where we just were. Yep. What happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It Listen. Me. <sighs> what do we do? That's where the tent and stuff was? They're burning everything? Call it in, ignore it, or I don't know. Call it in! We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? It doesn't matter. At yeah, least we're going to find something it. in this fire. Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. Yep. I will. All right. Still 77. I was going to say, it's the same day. Okay. Just back in our tower. Because we're loading. Yeah. Help who is me. listening to us? Receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency. She's drunk. What could it be? Yeah. I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. Bye bye, you know I just Lila. Up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? Yes. Yes, no. I am. I am getting drunk. Delilah. Sometimes you're dumb. Hey, B, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but <laughs> maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. It's the 80s. Henry, Henry, Henry. Mm. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My she thinking is, is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or... Will. I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. Mm. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is <sighs> Oh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. Time to say I'll goodnight. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. <clears throat> Radio off. So we don't get any trunk texts from Delilah. <laughs> Pretty much. Am I close? Gap and Bush. Gap and Bush is my favorite band. <gasps> yep. examine the bag. I want to get out of here. Wouldn't you just grab it and run? Yes! Cave 452. Oh, the cave! Yep. Okay, cool. That's fun. We can go in the cave now. Yeah, when an alarm hey, I, just... I found some sort of supply bag. <sighs> You're such like a man. Camping gear, clothes, <laughs> spaces. It was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. It but definitely looked like it. There was an alarm set to here. it. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National the Forest, good ones. Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? How are you suddenly okay, sober? Okay, let's just think. Says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly. It's too much. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. But the fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. We have the upper well, hand. It's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. I'm not. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not back in my tower. I am I'm outside. My tower. I am looking at a man standing in the <gasps> And it's not I you. I can tell you. It is not me. I'm going. Time to lock myself in a cave. Goodbye. There's, there's the lookout. You're not going up there, are you? 
Yes, we are. Are you serious? Are you serious? No. No. This is a bad idea. Where did he go? I don't see anyone up here. Uh. Just there. Oh. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Dude. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. Yep. No. Yes. See, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God. What the f*** is happening, Henry? Is the entire end of this game gonna retcon everything and be like it was just a dream and we're in a state asylum? That would not be any fun. Doing fire got closer. What's wrong? What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks spoke <gasps> out in another sector early this morning and said that I knew <gasps> meadow fire. No! wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm losing it. Delilah, I'm sorry. Another you lost your job you like a day ago. From last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. Let's go oh, in the cave. We don't have a lot of time left a good here, gulp take, by the way. What? Here's a good gulp take. Here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Oh, jail? That's what we're worried about? Burning down the forest kind of jail? Just, we have to stick together. Yeah, you know, arson, right. but our outside. So, worse. I didn't know I could go to jail for burning down the forest. That ruins my weekend's just, plans. We gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. <laughs> I I'm always right. right. I know! <laughs> That's how it feels. Where is that cave? How do I get back to oh, that dear, cave? I don't It's right remember. there, okay. Okay. Okay, four, five, so, two. From the lookout. I'm just gonna run in a direction and see where it takes me. <laughs> I think it's this direction. Well, the music happened, so maybe. Look yeah! Us. We're going the right way. On our first try! Yep. We're so capable. Wow, look at me. Learning. Look at the capabilities just, just emanating off of you right now. So cool. I could see it in real time. They're coming off like an aura. <laughs> Experts. <laughs> Your head's full of them. <laughs> I wish I I would have done so well in the Harry Potter universe because you know the amount of times a day I start to speak and forget what I'm about to say. Or forget the name of a person or the name you, of a book. I could just blame Raxperts. You could. And then everyone would think you're crazy, but... No, I would have a friend in Luna. And that's all I need. Well, we all make mistakes, Delilah. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. There it is. Okay, four, five, two. Let's go. Shove. Shove. Good old pal, shove. Steve. What the hell? Now we need long fall boots, because that door closed behind us. And there's no going back. Oh, dear. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Who is just on our just butt all the time that we never see? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. I bet you it is reception. Delilah. It's Hook. <laughs> <laughs> he left his long claw Jesus, mark. This is a big cave. Oh. <gasps> Use the Fuisaki. 
Do not cause. Oh, oh, are we gonna cause a problem? Okay. I mean, we have no choice. We couldn't take the steep drop. <laughs> we could have done that. But... Well, I just assumed because it was called steep drop, we probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look stable. Okay, I guess we jumped anyways. Yeah. Dude, this is big. It's freezing in here. I do not like not being able to see around the corner. Thank you very much. Is, <gasps> is it a child's shoe? It's a shoe. I'm fully expecting to find the good ones in here. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know, it's just a hunch. We don't know about the girls, we don't know about the good ones. We have no idea where the firefighters have been. And we know that these researchers are researching us, but we don't know why. Yeah, honestly. Everything elevated like to 100% really quickly. It did. Everything went zero to 100 in about five seconds. Oh, I did, okay. I was like, what am I doing? It was all chill fun vibes till it wasn't. We started with an emotional storyline, got to explore the forest a little bit, made some weird relationship choices, and then now we're here. Yeah. Hey, hey, are you there? I was trapped, but yeah, I'm so but cool I, I got what out. Did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. But I'm too you cool. Saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. I would just be stuck in that cave so forever. Find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> That's like a house. Climbing equipment. Mm -hmm. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that no, can help us. No, but I found a hideout. The spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an <gasps> a dinosaur. That someone Baby. was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Goodwin's family crest. Really? Yeah. Built himself a real castle. That is so cool to look at. Wow. I know, it's really terrible. <laughs> he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Aww. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, Five degrees north. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get. Go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. Mm. His grief is their sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Mm. And the nice. Dark. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off <laughs> of a meteor shower. <gasps> That's cool. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Oh. Yeah. I found a plan That's what Brian we saw. About how he was going to get it back. Wanted to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff. I'll tell you that much. It's Basketball? a little weird that he just no, leaves some that, that's, that's stuff out here. Scissor. Uh, that's what's his name? They were in a hurry when they left. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> said he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. It was the nargles. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. Hmm. I lied and just said it was Ned. Hmm. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever life Ned was going to bring him back to. Hmm. He made the place pretty comfy, too. How old is this kid? Yeah, at the expense of I thought he was like 12. I thought so, yeah. Pillows. Oh. That's it. Honestly, that's at. really cute. It's adorable. Also, the more I learn about Delilah, the more I learn she's just a big liar. Everything she does is to preserve what she wants to preserve. A little bit, yeah. Whether it be her job, this kid she never really met. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, Hey, is. we can use that. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. And he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him. Postcard. Oh. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Hmm. I hope it worked. God, what a cool. He didn't want to yeah. climb. That is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Mm. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Mm. 
Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Sweetheart, that is so precious. It really is. I don't think he knows when school starts. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they're my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. I love that. It's adorable. The reward will be good. Wizards and wyverns. Like Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Cool. Real good. <laughs> we'll hold on to that. And now we'll move on. What is up with these cracked rocks? Oh, they're just useful. Okay. Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> yeah. I, it makes sense. I thought we were seeing them because it was like, ooh, take note. And like, yes, yeah. but no. <laughs> yes, but yeah. Not for the reason you're starting you're to get the uncharted brain where it's like, jump to the white thing. Yeah. Jump to the marked out area. So now we have to go back into the cave. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. I'm probably gonna be killed. Whatever it is, they don't Love want that option for us. About. Mm. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with the crap right now it's all brian a, a hatchet <laughs> god are you sure you want to go back in there brian's trying to get us to discover his lore what do you want i didn't i, I didn't listen to her what'd she ask i'm just gonna go with one I just, okay i just want to know i want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us yeah me too and not going to jail would be a nice okay i'm on the way Sorry, I thought I was going the opposite direction, and I was like, why? <laughs> Not <How>? again! <sighs> Disappointed! Oh, Disappointed! Uh, those girls turned up. <gasps> Looks like you didn't kill them. Hey! Nobody did. That's great news. They Yay! They tractor for a joyride down in Riverton, <laughs> and, uh, landed in jail. Hey, you live and you learn. No tractor, no tractor joyrides for us. Uh, dodged a bullet there. To answer for, I'd say. I still think Delilah's shady. Yeah. Okay. It's them New York City girls. We gotta keep an eye on them. I've no never need to jam put that a key in into a lock <laughs> with so much force. I would. I feel like that would hurt my hand. Right. I'd be like, ow. Dude, just turning a key if it's like too big and it's like a I don't it, know. Like, it's hurts. Got the yes! Yeah. I thought I was such a baby. I need you to know. I always think I'm a baby for like everything I think hurts. But... I use keys regularly in my job, and mm. I'm like, oh, this this sucks, and I mm -hmm. think I'm such a baby. I am, but I once was using a key, and my dog jumped on the handle of the door behind it. Ooh. So when she did, it turned the key really fast, and, and my you... hand was still gripping it. Yep. So it went like, and I was like. Yeah. Because it, like, turned my joints. Mm -hmm. Okay, where am I going? This way? I get... Oh, depth perception. Okay. The light is weird. The light is weird. We need a tiny little lantern on our hip. Yeah. You keep laughing Something at my like suggestions that. of what's going to happen. Hmm? And it makes me nervous. Because it means I'm wrong. It means I haven't figured out where we're going or what we're doing. I'm just gonna be surprised. Yep. Would not be surprised if it was Delilah all along. Would not be surprised if it was Brian Goodwin. Those two girls aren't in a tractor joyride. They're dead in the cave. This is some dead under here. Listen to that music. It sounds like Watch Mojo, like the end of their movie screen. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Uh. Um. This is not Watch Mojo. Nope. Oh god. It's Brian Goodwin. Issue. Missing issue. No. Oh, baby. You fell. You 
stuff gave out. I don't want to look back at him. <laughs> I got sad. He just didn't want to climb. What happened to his dad? Well, ain't that the question? Because they both disappeared. Right. I want to cry right now. Like, I'm not kidding. I feel like crying. It's, uh, yeah. It's terrible. And he wasn't even supposed to be allowed. And his dad sucked. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm sad. I know. It's the... Uh, that's why I kind of started to stop talking, because I knew it was coming. It's a bummer. In case this game wasn't already a bummer for you. I mean, it's it's not been fun, but the game is fun. The game is cool. The stories are heavy. Yeah, the story oh. is very heavy. Sad. Are we here? Are we back in June? Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey there, Delilah. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's, what's wrong? Yeah. The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. How does that... Should we have what, taken a picture of that? You're right. Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I just remembered we can. Sorry. Yeah, I did too. What do you think? Maybe it was Ned. I don't know. Maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a... Yeah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. To hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Oh? We're fired? There's fire. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think it's getting too... Okay. Like... So we've been smoked out. So what? We've been smoked out. Yeah. I'm super bombed. <laughs> I wish I had more to say. Oh wow, this is bad. Yeah, I saw it. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Oh my gosh, that's not enough. June fire or the site fire. Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. What? Well, about how all this is connected. About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Honestly. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. That's fair. I don't even know where to start with all this. There's so many different pieces that uh, haven't really starters, tied together. Mm-hmm. Find the source of that signal. Holy crap! Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Could be something. It could also be whoever was listening to us. Who whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah. Um. Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right. Look, if, if something happens. Thank you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly, right? I'm probably 
I have gone Canada. silent. Sorry. <laughs> no, I meant if something happens to me. Right. If you don't find out who made the tape, and I have to just run through the trees. <laughs> yeah. Be safe, Henry. You be safe, Delilah. Or don't. You know, on your way back to New York City. Oh, so she's been there this whole time. <laughs> we have the strongest radio ever. Gosh, it's so smoky. It's super What's smoky. Your I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. So we have to go to Delilah's. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's just. Brian. Mm. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Gosh, that's a long one. That was a long one. If you fall on that one, you definitely die. Yeah. Come on. Where are you? Where the heck is this thing taking us to? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? It says, it says my name. My name. Tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. And it says your name. <laughs> so creepy. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find Ned. before it burns up. Yep. <laughs> I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went else with you too. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. So you just used us as free entertainment. Mm hmm. And then we got too close, and you knocked me out, scared the bejesus out of um, everything. Surveillance operation. Pretty much. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one. That's from a missing poster or something like that's from something, him. I think. Ned Goodwin. He made the tape? Yeah. Sleeping what about bag. the fenced off Deeper site? In that's different, right? Doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. That just was Me. a thing. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made wow. it all up. Yep, he did. <sighs> what you an idiot. need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was should site info us. how to break in. Yeah, Gosh. he made up those reports. He borrowed equipment. Yeah. Just to mess with us? Yep. You're not keeping an eye on us. You're harassing Goodwin us. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. It's crazy. He's literally insane. And he's just he out here. Mm -hmm. Guess he had a lot of time he's just off the grid trying to stay away. Jeez. 
the lighting just had a conniption. <laughs> That's funny. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Brian. Make Delilah and Two Forks less believable. Two Forks crazy, like wife, not good guy. Mama Grizzly back. They heard me. Fully believe there is a pro program use this. Reports final. Make sure they find them. Two Forks almost caught me at the site. Reports worked. Recorded call used for leverage. He found his supplies. How? How? <laughs> Keys gone. Can't let Two Forks find Brian. Well, we found him. He had quite the view. He did. Dang, man. That is such a sad existence. Right? His son died. He didn't kill his son, but his son died. And he kind of let it happen. Yeah. Because he... I don't know. I mean, accidents happen, but... <sighs> that's a rough... But, like, come on, man. That's rough. It is. Hike north to thoroughfare. Look out to for the evacuation. Point. Where are we? Okay. We gotta yeah. go sew up. Ooh. Okay. Let me make sure I am on the right path. Yes, okay. Just got to make And no wonder sure. he can hide so well. He's been out here for what years? Three years. Yeah. So he knows like the ins and outs of everything pretty much. So has Delilah been out here for three years, or is she here, like, every once in a while? I think she comes out during, like, the summer, or okay. whatever it is. I also just find it wild that we're just walking through the forest when there is an active, large forest fire. Yeah, it's wild, right? And as wild as this fire, it is as, crazy yeah. to me. The fact that we can just do this, and we're not really worried about escaping the fire. No, we just have to get there. We'll yeah. eventually get out. <laughs> Clearly, wouldn't the game this air hurt, hurt our lungs? Like so much, you shouldn't be breathing in that much smoke. It would hurt your throat, your lungs, your eyes. I'm not yeah. prepared. Whew. Uh, it's crazy how it can be so beautiful and yet so volatile yeah. immediately. I need to be heading north. So north. Ta-da! Good job. All right, time to run. <laughs> yeah, because this is gonna be a nice long trek through the orange. Just gotta make sure. So the sure. girls were a red herring. The girls were a red herring. It was just Completely. kind of like, what's happening? The site setup was just a thing that was there there that was a Ned research station of. there yeah. that he took advantage of yeah it was so that's such a calculated move for I nothing other than relieved. to mess with us exactly no it's terrifying to honestly relieved that we're not crazy and there wasn't some conspiracy but i'm not it was a sweet kid the father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole mm -hmm. I think Ned loved him. I think... I think that Ned loved him. I want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a head who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything mm -hmm. wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there mm -hmm. so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Gosh, man. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, run faster. They're gonna leave you. <laughs> hey, they're oh. here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... 
What if they don't come back? I'm scared. Uh, Dean, what if they don't come back for me? Get cozy with Ned. They'll come back. <laughs> That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something? I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big we can going just go on. Up They'll come here. back for you. Right? Yeah. Just wait. Okay. All right, bye bye. I yeah. guess. I have to. Hike safe. I have never heard her say that before. Really? Usually say, she says to? she's gonna wait for you. <gasps> oh, weird. I know why. Why? Because we didn't develop a relationship with her. Oh yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm I'm fine being long distance. <laughs> no, no, I understand that. It's just it's I've never heard because most people at least are like a little more like Feeding giving. Into it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. We're friends. We care about each other. But this is not something that needs to happen. I am in a committed relationship with my wife, even when she doesn't remember me. Quite frankly, I would. Um, what's it called? I would, I would have probably picked friendlier options. Or no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I, my brain just made up a scenario. What I was going to say is I would still want somebody to wait for me. Yeah. Whether it was romantic or even that friendly, I'd still be like, please, some other person wait for me as a forest fire is consuming our lives. Yeah. Uh, Old Shoshone, Winthrop Carter, Hawk's Rest. Oh, it's a song. It's a song. Can't waste no time house. getting there. I'll do 80 down, 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal. I'll spruce up the spruces. Don't need no pal. I'll change my mood for the mooses. That's fun. It's cool. It's definitely, definitely a vibe. Oh, we've gone a little off trail. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Yeah. I think I have to go back this way. Now we're like, it, this This is scary because now we are alone. Like, we don't have anyone to talk to. We don't have anyone to even talk to, yeah. Yeah. It's a little scary, but it's also like, we'll be okay. It's Will we? It's just a game. Play the game. Because, like I said, I've never heard that ending line before. Do you usually make it out? Usually she waits. She says she's going to wait for you. Do you usually make it out? I mean, I don't know, dude. Stop it! <laughs> so now we've discovered this horrible secret. We are on our way, trying to escape. I'm trying not to be an idiot. Delilah has left us. We have no friends, no money, no prospects. My parents find me to be a burden. I'm gonna leave behind my wife and her sister that I think is pretty. Sorry, that one when that came up really got me. That, it oh, never that went stuck anywhere. with you so hard. It, it, it was so stupid. It was just, I've always really liked Susan. It was like, no. <laughs> We're not going to feed into this idea that Susan is an option. <laughs> That's me. That's how I have mentally perceived this game is stay with Julia. Yeah. Get your healing taken care of so you can go back and be supportive. Man, we really have to go up, down, and around here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I'm trying- like, this feels weird. Oh, yeah, okay. You did the right thing. Yeah. So do you know where we're heading based on what she said? The evac point, her tower. Yeah, but she said there's an emergency tram. Do you remember the emergency tram? Nope. Okay. Is it an emergency tram? We discovered it earlier, I think. Is it the snowmobile? Oh, wait, maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm just remembering that I've seen people do that. <laughs> Did we go on a snowmobile? No. What was it? You'll Do I see. get to see? Yeah, you'll see it in about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it, Rocks. it's actually farther than I thought. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like right here. Oh, good. Supply drop. That's that's the same as the evac point, right? No? Mm -mm. Okay. We're going up to thoroughfare. This. Maybe we maybe we oh, didn't see this. Oh, this is fun. We did not see this. I thought we saw this. I'm dumb. How do you get a chicken, a yeah, wolf, and the feed over to the other side? <laughs> Delilah, are you there? No, she's Delilah. gone. Remember? How do I? 
Oh, I pull. Yeah. Time to be strong like Paul. I'm blacking out! Help! The world! It's going dark! <laughs> Load screen makes me noise. Firewatch. There's the symbol. It's us, it's us, it's us. There we go. She had a nice little walk up. She had like stone steps to deal with, yeah. It looks just like my house, but a little nicer. Thousand one crosswords. Henry, what we know. White and shorts. She got the hairy legs part down. She did. Bear. Tequila. Let's hold on to it. <laughs> For okay. the sake of, I don't know. Biff. Apple. I just ate her apple. Mm -hmm. well, she's gone. Think this we is snatch it. things with aggression I've never seen really before. Really do. Pork Hello? palms. Is anybody yeah. there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. Thank you, Anu. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Perfect, I've always Make wanted sure a pet. Comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Yeah. Get your story so, straight. Taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. <laughs> okay, so that's a wash. You're not coming back? You could work at a pool park. No. No. Oh. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Mm. Tell you what. Why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Um, maybe... Come to Boulder with me and move to Santa Fe. You think you can shrink? Why did she move to Santa Fe? I don't know. Move to Santa Fe. Maybe move I to. I was gonna Santa say, I think it's her sister. Open a jade emporium with your sister. Hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, <laughs> but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something <laughs> if you write about this. That's funny. I am. Um, yeah. You gotta go see her. I don't like any of those. Maybe don't say anything. I'll go see her. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could have done. We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a. Uh, I don't know. If my Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> the years start coming, and they don't sure, start Judy coming. Judy smoked a lot of pot. Yeah. So you should try to take her advice too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. Yay. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. <laughs> Turns out alright too. This is weird. What a weird 
not a friend. I was talking about Delilah. Oh. Look. Oh, I see coming again. Another human being. First time ever. Can you imagine not seeing another person for over two months? I know. Dang, that's it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Panic Inc. is right. <laughs> I'm mentally panicked. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot to take more pictures. Oh, is this where your pictures show up? Yeah. Cool. Maybe we shouldn't have taken a picture of dead. I know. When you said that, I was like, I want to, but also I don't. I feel like evidence that would have been good. Yeah, but, but... It's, this is an aquari situation. Okay, cool. Hey, listen, I don't know till I know. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that would have been so sad to just pop up here. Just do the aesthetic. Erin Yvette. Yeah? Oh. Oh, she's, um... Alex in Oxenfree. Oh, I'm I almost her. certain. Man, you got some beautiful pictures, Caden. This really was a fun game. It hits Isn't it weird to say this was fun? Yeah, because it, it was. It hits everything towards the end, because it's it's like okay, you're having fun in the beginning, and then they give you like an emotional reason why everything has happened. What the crap is that? Us? That's us, because when we pick up the camera, it flashes. We accidentally oh, take a picture, so, so that's us. Love we got that. to see ourselves. We do kind of look like she drew us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But anyway, like I was, I guess I was saying, it's it was pleasant. And then it was stressful and emotional, and then you kind of got into it, and then you were, like, unnerved, and that picked up real quick. I was right. Yeah. And then we just ended on another, like, heavy note. Exactly. So it's really cool. It was Brian's camera first. Yeah. Yeah. I was seeing you there until last the day. All right. The art looks like oxen for the next one. Oh, he did not He did. That's the sad He part. didn't, like, kill his child. He unfortunately let his child die. He just didn't know how to teach him properly, is quite frankly what I think it is. Awful. And he pushed him a little too hard. Wow. I really did enjoy that. I knew you would. I, I knew I would, too, from all the things that you described about it. I just didn't really know what to expect out of it. Yeah. It's definitely a game that you don't realize needs to come with a trigger warning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why at, on every video I was like, I'm going to actually put, like, a full few-second warning yeah, on these. Yeah, because it just comes up. Yeah. It's, oh, that was really cool. This is cool. I think I might go back and do this at some point. Cause I didn't know oh, I had this. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's really cool. And you can play. You can just wander the area without just actually playing the game. Go in. Oh, yeah. that's cool too. But. Jeez. I absolutely adore this game. It's so for its fun. art style, for its everything, it's amazing. It's the storytelling is just impeccable. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We finished this faster than I thought we would, quite frankly. Yeah. I thought we were going to have this for four episodes, it's only three. But this one's a little longer <laughs> because I didn't want to just put up a 20-minute episode for the ending. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, in the same way that we enjoyed it. Um, it's like a... It's a, it's a, it's a roller coaster. of enjoyment. <laughs> yeah, it's a... It's a this sounds dumb, but, like, it's a vibe. Like, it's, it's mm -hmm. a... It's just a feeling... Some games are action, some games are story, some games are comedy. This one is just a feeling mm -hmm. because of the way the story is told. But I hope you guys had a good time with us. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel to see more. And ring that bell to be notified whenever we upload whatever comes, whatever's coming next. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.